Yo! Yo! What's going on? We're doom scrolling, my man. Okay, yeah. so the Supreme Court has had some big decisions, one of which involved race considerations on college admissions, right? Uh, affirmative action is what it's been known as since as long as I can remember, since I was a kid. And there's been a lot of debate about affirm, affirmative action in colleges. I mean, there has been forever, but and I feel like in the last 10 years, or at least the last five, six years, there's been a lot of talk about students who... Um, You'd hear stories about, you know, this school did not let this kid in even though he or she had the highest GPA because they had too many Asian kids already. They'd already met there, so then they needed to have someone of a different race. So mm -hmm. they, they, they bring in someone who didn't get as good of grades because they got to fill out these quotas or whatever. And the way that it was supposed to work, they say, is it was never supposed to be... Well, here, I'll let them explain how it was supposed a to be. A major decision here as it relates to race and education in this country. For decades, the court has said that you can look at race as a limited plus factor, a tip, as if you will, not any checking the box exercise. And here, in this case, a divided court has said the programs at Harvard and the University of North Carolina are invalid. So I tried to look up limited plus and, and figure out what exactly that means it's not totally clear but the idea would be you shouldn't have a, a checklist that says do we have enough black students do we have enough white students do we have enough asian students check you know this person right but i guess if you had two kids who were equally qualified that you were allowed to consider race huh. at that point but you know then doesn't that kind of become like a, a check it's not You're exactly dang. clear so according to the AP, they say the a divided Supreme Court struck down affirmative action in college admissions, declaring race cannot be a factor and forcing institutions of higher education to look for new ways to achieve diverse student bodies. The court's conservative majority effectively overturned cases reaching back 45 years and in invalidating admissions plans at Harvard and the University of North Carolina, the nation's oldest private and public colleges, respectively. So the other issue that I heard people discuss a lot, too, was I'm not smart enough to know. Whether I mean, or not they should do it or not? Yeah. I've heard some like debates. If you, I sat down with really smart people. I think because I'm, I'm just being honest, I'm not that smart. I feel like I could be like, oh, that makes sense. I understand what you're saying. Yeah. And then uh, somebody else I could sit down with and they'd be like, well, would this is, I'd be like, that makes sense. I understand what you're saying. I don't know kind of like the how to make thing. it completely fair. You right. know? What I did hear, like we talked about, was that school in Texas or whatever that said, in order to get into our university, you have to be the top 5% of your class. Mm hmm. And so, to me, that sounded fair. Yep. Some schools are saying that they're not looking at SAT, ACT scores. I've heard that, yeah. Or, like, they're looking, but they're not counting them, which doesn't make a lot of I like the top 5% of your class because then, it, you know, to me, like, if you went to a school, you know, in an affluent neighborhood where you had every you know, privilege, mm -hmm. right, to learn more, uh, and then you went to one where you didn't have uh, all of these things, if you still made it to the top 5% of your class in either one of those, it tells exactly. me that you're working. And you think Right, so why should you out? get compared uh, to, uh, with someone with no advantages, mm -hmm. right? And you're going to school, like I saw pictures in Detroit, where it's just raining in the classroom, Jeez. right? Because there's, there's holes in that the classroom. Right. Right. Yeah. right. <laughs> and, then, uh, and then to another school, like where my kids go, right? Yeah. Well, I'm guessing their test grades are going to be different. Yes. But if you get to the top 5% in either one of those, it tells you're me trying. that you're working hard. And, yep. you, and you have the ability to, to try and do it. So you should be in the top 5%. I like the idea of that. Well, and I don't like the sound of you can't be, even though you're the most qualified, you can't come because you're Asian and we have too many Asians. Like, that just doesn't sound right to me. No. But in an, another thing that I heard that I thought was interesting is what, uh, and who knows if this is true, but it was a smart person saying this, so I just went with it. But he was saying that the uh, one of the issues they've had at these universities is because they're trying to basically reach these race quotas, they are letting some kids into these schools who are not really set. So they may have gotten good grades in school and done very well, but maybe not as well as these other kids that they're, you know, pushing out a line and or skipping the line to get in front right. of because they are whatever race, you know, check the box, Asian, black, whatever it is that that university feels they need. So that kid is now put in this spot to fail and that these kids get there and they might have done really good at the University of North Carolina, whereas they're struggling at Harvard and it right. messes well, up their college sure. career. And so I, that's a, an issue I'd never thought of before. And he claimed right. that that's like an actual known thing that is happening to some of these kids. But just in general, I don't like the idea of saying too many Asians, you know, too, too many white people, too many. I understand you got to figure out a way to get these places right. more diverse. But kind of like you said, if you go with the school districts and you say top 5%, you tried. Top 5%, you're going to apply and your chances of getting in are pretty good. Yep. Right? I mean, you know, that's 
It seems to me like you it, like it would solve a lot of problems. Now, I'm guessing somebody could sit across from me and be like, no, this is why not. Too. But I'm when I read that go. article, I was like, okay, well, that makes sense. Yeah. No, I'm with you. I, I could be, it's, I feel like Joe Rogan. The, the last person I talk to, I'll probably believe. Right. You know, that's yeah, where right. I'll be like, whoever right. was the last smart person that talked to me. Uh, Madonna was in bad shape. She got yeah. a, she's supposed to be doing this big tour, I guess. I don't know if it started or it's getting ready to start. I know it's been paused now, though. But she was in the hospital this weekend with a bacterial infection. I think she's still in the hospital. And she was intubated while she was there. She's on a respirator. Uh, I don't know what exactly it was. I don't know if any outlet has said the two things that I read about it. They did not specify. They just said bacterial infection. But that she is, uh, last I heard, she's been moved from the ICU into a, uh, an area to recover. So she's making progress. This you know? morning, a major health scare for Madonna. The music legend rushed to the ICU on Saturday with what her manager called a serious bacterial infection. A source close to the 64-year-old pop icon telling NBC News she is now out of the ICU and recovering. That Man, I was still so weird. stuck on our fast food thing when I heard that. I thought they said pop icon. I was like, what? Pop, pop, pop icon. Pop icon. Yeah, you know, she loves pop it. icon. Really took my brain a second. I was like, I was still thinking about Popeye's chicken. Why is she? Popeyes. Right. Why is she <laughs> right. taking a stand? I don't understand. She, <laughs> right. This is no time to be SN on KFC. <laughs> uh, oh, here, this update. This is from an hour ago. Says she's out of the hospital. Uh, there you go. She's been released. She continues to recover from a bacterial infection, which landed her in the uh, ICU, prompted a postponement of her international tour. I wonder how many tickets she sells. What in is a that? You're in Kansas City. Something's been pulled pork mac and cheese. Pulled pork is it devour? mac and cheese. Is it the devour meal? Uh uh-uh. uh. Marie Calendar. Oh, good Marie stuff. Calendar. Smells well, pretty good. I would never get pulled pork mac and cheese, but that smells good. I don't like my mac and cheese sullied. Usually. Me neither. I like it. I like maybe it. keep it separate. Sometimes yeah. I might be open to it, but if it's like a noodles and company. Maybe a meatball maybe. in there. Maybe yeah. a meatball, but that's about it. Yeah. Let me tell you about the time I walked into Noodles and Company on the plaza, and there was a guy panhandling out front. He's like, "Please, sir, anything? I'm hungry. I don't have any cash." So while I was in there, I ordered him food, and I came out and I handed it to him, and he looks at me like, and so then I was like, "Well," and I gave him a fork and a drink and everything. I walked away, and as I'm going down the street, I turned and looked around, and he just threw it in the trash. <laughs> I was like, "Oh, I guess he just needed money, or or he's like, I'm either. hungry. I don't want this crap, though. <laughs> what did you did you put pulled pork on my mac and cheese? <laughs> Jesus Christ, man! I'm having a hard enough time here. Now you're trying to ask me to eat this." Uh, so Madonna doing better. I was curious, and you're a music person. You put on concerts uh, many yeah. over over the years. You know about crowd sizes and what this person can expect. It's not always an exact no science. Idea what but can. these days, what does Madonna pull? No now she idea. does have a song with The Weeknd, which I, it wasn't like number one. But what did we say? I think you were gone, Lazlo. Debuted at like number seventy four or something. Because she's now joining this list, Lazlo, of pop stars or musicians. I mean, she's not going to sell tickets to her new record. No, 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 that's no, 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 It's no. going to be, uh, hey, I may never get to see Madonna I, I want to see Madonna. Same thing with, you know, the Rolling Stones. Yeah. What was the, what was the, uh, it was five uh, decades? Artists have had a, a hit in five decades. Yeah, so it has to be a top 100 hit. Top 100 hit in five In five decades. individual uh, unique decades. They don't okay. have to be, uh, and it was not a very big list. But no, I think she could probably do arenas. That's what I wondered. Would she do team? I don't know if you meant like here? arenas or stadiums. Honestly, you could tell me stadiums. Yeah, but I would I mean, guess maybe. arena. Yeah, I would, I would think arena. it's an arena tour. I would. That's what I would think too. But I mean, I don't know. But, but like a place like Starlight sounds too small. Yeah. Uh, so then I go, well, maybe an arena, maybe. But I could also see them doing an arena and kind of blocking off part of it. You get in there and it's well, not the that's arena. if they didn't sell it enough, then but they would. But I think stadium they with like another big artist, like with her. Yeah, maybe. Yeah, but co headliners, right? Maybe. I mean, whoever it is that puts on that show, they got to pay her. And that's the other question. I wonder what what she gets paid per per gig these days. Yeah. I have no idea. Probably a I mean, lot. Do you think it's half a million, a million? And I don't think million? she's going to go out. I, I wouldn't think that her manager or anybody else would let her go out if it wasn't stadiums or arenas. That's what I right? That, yeah, that like, then why do it? Just don't do it. Yeah. Like, you don't need the money. You're fine. You know, if this is going to be your thing and you're going to go, then. Let's go do stadiums. They were showing her kids this morning. I, they said she has, what, like six kids, eight kids? I had quite a few. And I thought of Lazlo talking about, you know, you can afford it. And when you can afford to have that many kids, go for it. And I, Because those kids looked happy and healthy to me. Yeah. I saw a couple of them graduate. I'm like, yeah, Madonna adopting those kids or whatever. I don't know how many of them are whatever. But those kids are probably doing all right. And Madonna can absolutely afford it. Yeah, it looks like she's playing life. arenas. Because if I look at it here, it says Madonna, the celebration. She's playing Rogers Arena in Vancouver, Climate Pride Arena in Seattle. I wonder when the last time so. was she played. 
Did you hear about? I know we talked about Glastonbury for a second yesterday because of that uh, pop star that was. And there you go. Right. So Rogers Arena sold out. So she must be doing that's, thirty thousand people. That's pretty Rob good. That. That's pretty good. Okay. Climate well, Pledge Arena in Seattle. That's where the is that hockey the old, team uh, is. Right. Yeah, the Climate okay. Pledge. Everything. Does oh, oh, right. Okay. okay. Then yeah, keep doing it. And that sold out. Keep going. And the other ones just aren't available. Oh, sh- damn. Doing two nights in Seattle at that arena. Oh, wow. Go. Okay, so she sells a lot of tickets Doing still. Well. Good for her. Yeah. Footprint Center. I'm just looking. Box Center. Uh, Little Caesars Arena. That's where the That's hockey team big. plays in Detroit. Yeah, but I'm with you. You don't go out unless you're doing stadiums. Yeah. Arenas. You're not going to yeah. go play. And it doesn't no. look like she's not. Either. If I can tell, you know, obviously she has management and they do a wonderful job if she's Madonna. They don't need my input. <laughs> uh like but my, there's no, no small cities in here. Okay. So she's not doing that any makes sense. secondary If you want to see her, you got to drive for a Los lot of Los Angeles, okay. like the smallest I see here, Nashville. Okay. And I did That's see. That's a good point, too. I did see her doing a residency in Vegas. I could, I did too. See. She I is too. playing Vegas. Nashville, Austin. I don't see anything else. Montreal, yeah, that, that's, but that's, that's a, not small. That's a good idea, though. Sure. You just do these big cities. Don't Pittsburgh, do the smaller ones. Pittsburgh, Cleveland. is the way to go. Yeah. Well, that looks like the smallest I see is Tulsa. You stay in one place. Yeah, but then you got to do it every night. You know, I don't know. And, yeah, you can make a lot well, of money stay for in sure. One but place. if you're touring, you nice she can condo. say, look, I got, I'm got. i doing yeah. this world tour still. I think some people you still look at her. Everything's out. big. The travel's the pain in the ass. Everything's I know. big. And then, well, no, she's traveling on a plane and she's doing. Well, I understand. But I'm saying <clears> you just be in Vegas. and a, you know. But I think some people see a residency as doing a, doing my best days are behind me. Yeah, I think that's how a lot of people see And she's flying on a plane. She's playing the 15th, the 18th, the 22nd, the 25th. Okay. They've got this spread out. She's flying into... Cleveland. She plays the thirtieth in Minnesota. Flies into Cleveland. Doesn't play till the second. Mm. From Cleveland, she flies into Detroit and doesn't play till the fifth. Okay, like she's sitting in pretty time. nice hotels for a couple of days doing her thing. Yeah. So, and That's she's only doing thing. those, and then she goes to Europe, London, London. Whoa! I feel like she's huge there for some. She's doing one, two, her three, doing... four nights. At the O2 Arena. Okay, she's... In a row. Still really famous. You know what yeah. Zeppelin would do, I thought was really cool, is they would have a home base in Chicago, and they had their own plane, right? And they would just fly to the to the cities, come back to Chicago yeah. for a few days, fly to the city, come back to Chicago. Yeah. yeah. They have different home bases. So that was a cool I guess it depends on your age, too, but... Because if you're young, you're probably like, this is fun. We're touring. This is great. But yeah. as you get older, you're probably like, I don't want to be right. doing this for the next year. I'm guessing... Madonna's touring days are nicer than what we're all going home to. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Did you guys see the thing I meant to ask you about uh, Guns N' Roses at Glastonbury? Mm-mm. Dave Grohl played with them. Oh, really? Yeah, there's video of it, and I just thought it was interesting. There were articles, and it said it's a shame. Uh, Guns N' Roses, they said, according to these things, put on basically the best show they've put on since they got back together or whatever. He sounded good. I've they heard looked a lot good. of good reviews. I watched the video. He sounded good. He's running around the stage. Dave Grohl comes out with them, and they're Duff, you know, playing with them. They look good, but they said the crowd just isn't into GNR, so it was wasted on this young crowd because yeah. this young crowd's like, we don't care about this yeah. stupid band. And I was like, ah, well, at least they look good. Aren't they coming here? Didn't you say you were going to take me this summer? I think they're coming back, my, right? My chance I to go see them. I heard the last one was great. Well, so did I. I heard yeah. that it was good, and now it looks like it might be even better because I was watching those videos, and it looks, well, there you this go. is our chance. Playing Arrowhead again? I, that's, I'm pretty sure that was the deal. Man. One of you were supposed to get me tickets. She's selling those tickets. I'm looking for them at Ticketmaster. How much? Section floor, uh, floor section, row three. What city? This is in Seattle. Okay. For the second night. It doesn't look like that's sold out yet. Uh, three, you said? Yeah. Okay. $4,000. Whoa! Ooh! Get that money, Madonna. That Get that money. It looks like there's some, like, floor of row 49 for, like, 453 bucks. But Taylor Swift prices. Yeah. All right, we're going to take a break. Coming up, uh, more reasons why you should rent a limo if you're thinking about taking a train somewhere. <laughs>